We continue now at the top of Daf Pei Hayam and Beis and Maseches Baba Kama. This is Baba Kama Daf eighty five B. And the previous summit, the Gemara said that all the various kinds of payments are pay, are paid even in situations where there is nezek, where there is damage. And the Gemara said we learned that by tsar from petza tachas potza. That teaches us that there's tsar b'makom nezek. But the Gemara says, don't we need that pasuk for something else? We need that lerabos shogi kamezit the onus karasa. And that pasuk is coming to include even if it happens by mistake, it's the same as on purpose. Even if it happens by accidents, it's the same if it's willingly. And the Gemara says, Cain, if so, if that's all it was teaching, nichtov kra petza b'petza, the pasuk could have just said. Petza ve petza, my petza tachas petza. What does it mean, petza tachas petza? Shmami notarti. You see from that language, both of these ideas. You see tsar ve makom nezek as well. And the Gemara continues. Rapava mishmei de Rava. Amar Rapava says in the name of Rava. Amar Kra the pasuk says verapo yirape. It says the double language of verapo yirape. Lita in refua, but makom nezek. That comes to teach us that there is refua that you have to pay for the healing even in a situation of nezek. The Gemara says haimi boy lechid the tana devere bishmal. But don't we need that pasuk for the teaching of the tana devere bishmal? The tana devere bishmal because it was taught in the yeshiva of Rabbi Shmuel. Verapo yirape. The pasuk says verapo yirape. Mikan shenit and rishus lerofe lerapos. From here we learn that the doctor has permission to heal. The Gemara says to that, If so, it could have just said, This change in the language teaches us that there's refuah b'makam nezek. But the Gemara continues, But still, Don't we need verapo yirape for what we said in the previous Amud? We needed to repeat. The Pasuk had to say the double language by ripoy. We used it for various things on the previous Amud. And the Gemara says to that, If so, If that was the case, it could have said rapo rapo or yirape yirape. My verapo yirape. What is this language of verapo yirape? So again, we see that there is a payment of healing, even in a situation where there's nezek, where there's a situation of damage. But the Gemara continues, Michlal, doesn't this imply that it's possible to have these things even if there is damage? How could you have a situation, let's say, of pain or of healing where there is no nezek? And the Gemara says to that, Tsar, Tsar you could have, as we learned. Tsar, Kivo, Bishvoto, Bemismar. Let's say you have a case of pain. For example, the person, he burns him with a skewer or with a nail. The Afilo Al Porno, even if it's on his fingernail, Makom Sheno Sachabura, a situation where there's no wound. So there you have a case of no damage with pain. And Ripa, you could have it by healing as well. To have a Koyevle Midi, that some part of the person's body was hurting. Vesolik, Vaisi, Leisam, Kharifa. And then somebody came and brought a strong drug, Vaachre, Levisri. But then the drug caused his flesh to white. So the person is going to have to pay money now to give a new drug in order to bring the color back to the person's skin. And Shevis, you can have a case of Shevis where it's only Shevis again and there's no damage. The Hadke bin Drono Vatle that he locked the person in a room and therefore the person was not able to work, but there was no damage. That can be a case of just Shevis. And finally, Boshas, you can have a case of just humiliation. The Rukle Biape that he spit in the person's face and again he didn't actually cause any damage. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. The Mishnah said, Shevis, when it comes to the Shevis payment, Rono, so Kilu, Shomer, Kishu, and we view the person as if he's watching over cucumbers. How much did he lose in terms of that amount of money that he could have made? And the Gemara says, Tonu Rabban and the rabbis taught Shevis when it comes to Shevis, Rono, so Kilu, Shomer, Kishu, and we view the person as if he watches over cucumbers. Vim Tomer, and if you're going to say, Loksa Midas Adin, this is not going to be justice to Chimitba Chai Gavra, Lav Igra de Shomer, Kishu, Mushakal, because when the person heals, he's not going to be taking payment to be a cucumber watcher. That's a very low payment. Ella Dali Davla Vashakil Igor. Rather, he's going to carry pails and he'll take a higher wage. Inami Ozel Bishliach, or he'll go as an agent for Shakil Igor and take a higher wage. And so the Gemara says to that, the Brisa says, Midas Hadin Lo Luxa. The, the rule of justice has not been harmed over here. Shakvar Nasan Lo, Dme Yadu, Dme Raglo, because the person's already been paid for the value of his hand and the value of his foot. So that's already been compensated. And that's why we evaluate based on a Shomer Kishuim. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rava, Rava says, Kotas Yado, if he cuts off his hand, Nosin Lo, Dme Yado, he gives him the payment, the value of his hand. The Shevis, and when it comes to Shevis, Rono So, Kilo Shomer Kishu, and we view him again as if he watches over cucumbers. Shibres Raglo, if he breaks his leg, Nosin Lo, Dme Raglo, we give him, he gives him the value of his leg. The Shevis, and when it comes to Shevis, Rono So, Kilo Shomer Sapesach, we view him as if he's a guard by the door. Simes Eno, if he blinds him, Nosin Lo, Dme Eno, we give him the value of his eye. The Shevis, and when it comes to Shevis, Rono So, Kilo Humatzchi, we view him as though he's grinding at the millstone. Chershof, he caused him to go deaf. No sin lo, to make kulo. So then we give him the value of all of it. And Rashi explains, Midas hadin lo luxa justice is not compromised. Shekvar nasan lo v'chulo, because he already paid him for his hand. Ulecheshi Yisrape, nami, and also when, he's, when he gets healed. Eino roi ladalos v'leilich b'shlichos. He's not going to be able to work by, by carrying pails 
or by becoming a shliach. Kita Yodu cuts off his hand. Adain Huroy Lashomer Kishu. And again, at that point, he's still able to watch cucumbers. Hilkach Sheves Kol Yemei Chol Yonosin Lo Schar Shomer Kishu. And therefore, the Sheves is all the time that he's ill, that he's sick. We pay him as if he could watch over cucumbers. Shiver Es Raglo if he breaks his legs. Veshuv Eino Roy Lashomer Kishu. And he can't watch cucumbers if he has a broken leg. Shetzarech Lahalech Sav Vagina because he's got to walk around the garden. And finally, Rashi says Chershu if he causes him to go deaf. Ain Roy Laklum. He's not able to do any work, and so therefore he pays him his entire value. And the Gemara continues, Boy, Rava Rava asks the following question, Kitas Yodov, he cuts off his hand, Velo Amdu, and the Bezin doesn't yet evaluate what the damages are, Shiber Esragal, and then he breaks his leg, Velo Amdu, and they don't do an evaluation, Sima Seino Velo Amdu, then he blinds him, and they don't do an evaluation, Ulevasov Chershu, but then at the end, he causes him to go deaf, and again, in that in that case, he has to pay for his entire value anyway, so Mao, so what's the Allah? Miam Rinan, do we say, Kevin, the Lo Amdu, Bechad Umdana, Sagi Le, Vyoivle, Dme Kule, Bahad Hadadi, do we say, since they didn't do an evaluation each time, so one evaluation is enough, and he'll just pay the person his entire value. Odilmo or maybe Chada Chadam, do you know we have to do each evaluation for each damage, the hand, the foot, etc.? Vyavina Lane has to pay him. And the Gemara explains the difference. Nafkamina, the boy Lamesa Vle Tsaru Boshes, the Chol Chada Vichada. The Nafkamina is, does he have to pay the Tsar and the Boshes, the pain and the humiliation of each injury? The other injuries are all going to be wrapped up into one payment anyways. That's what the Gemara now explains. Nihid and Nezek Veriboy Vesheves granted that the damage and the healing and the Sheves, the Chol Chada Vichada Lo Yavina Lay, there you're not going to pay for each one of those individually. The Kavan, the Kayoy Vle, the Mekule, because since you're paying for his entire value because he, he went deaf, Kim and the cattle dummy, it's as if he basically killed him by Yoiv Lade Mekulin, he's paying him for his entire value. But Saru Bojas Mias to Khalchada Vichada Yoiv. But when it comes to the pain and the humiliation of each injury, maybe there he does have to pay that one each time. To have a late Saru Boshas, because each time there was Sarin Boshas. And the Gemara continues, Vim Tim Salomon, if you're going to say, Kevin de Amdu, since they didn't do an evaluation, that the, he has to pay the entire value in just one shot. So Amdu, my, ma, what would be the halach if they did do the evaluation each time, but he has not yet paid? Mi Amrin, do we say, Kevin de Amdu, Chada Chada, Boy Lemes of Lay, since they did this evaluation, so each one he has to pay again independently? Odil Mor, maybe, Kevin de Lo Shalom, since he didn't yet pay, Yoiv Lay de Mekule, he simply again pays him the entire thing. His whole value at once, take when the Gemara leaves that as a question. And Rashi explains, Kita Siyadov Aloam do, he cut off his hand, but they didn't evaluate, meaning Bezdin did not evaluate. They didn't say that you have to give this amount of ripoy, Kach Vekach Sheves, this amount of Sheves, Saru Boshes, Viacharechen Shiberes Raglo, Kodam Shes Rapi, and then he broke his leg before he even healed. Chada Chada Amdina, and we do each evaluation, Viafagav Divinezek Lo Nafkalan Mine Midi. And Rashi says, even though by damage it's not going to make any difference, the Sof Sof called because with each injury he loses value. And therefore, it doesn't matter whether you do a full evaluation or you evaluate each one, it's all going to add up to the same thing. But the difference is going to be do you have to pay the pain and the humiliation of each one? There's no difference on the healing because he didn't even heal in the interim. Sheves low, and it doesn't make a difference by Sheves either. Share no sin low to make call Masha Yashava Mitrila because he's got to pay him his entire value. Vareu Avdo as his Evid. And the Gemara continues, Boy Rabba Rabba asks the following question Sheves Hapoksasu Bedom Ma, what if he causes him a loss of livelihood that diminishes his value? What's the halacha there? And the Gemara explains, Hey Chidami, what exactly is the case? Let's say he hits him on his hand, and his hand is weakened, but it is going to heal. My, so what's the halach? He came into sofa lax, or since it's going to heal, lo yoiv leve lo midi. He doesn't have to give him anything. There's no real damage over here. O dilmur maybe hash to miyas avcha say right now there is a loss of value. He's not able to work at this time. And the Gemara says, Tashma, come in here, the following proof. Hamaka ove viimo. Let's say a person strikes his father or his mother, velo also ben chabura, but he doesn't cause any wound. Vahachova bechavero biyom or let's say somebody wounds his friend on Yom Kippur. And Rashi explains, Sheves hapochsasum midamim, again, a loss of livelihood that diminishes his value. He ko maka shutzarech lishpos mimalachto, meaning he strikes him in a way where the person can't work. Vesofo lio shalem kibatchila, but he is going to entirely heal. Vein kan elo sheves. So all you really have here is sheves. But if you would, there is a loss of value over here, meaning if you would try to sell him right now, he would be worth less. So what's the halacha? Are you chayiv to pay for that present diminished value or not? 
And Rashi continues, came the sofa lo Since his hand is going to heal, he doesn't have to pay the value of the hand. And finally, Rashi says, Velo asa ben chabura. Again, he strikes his parents, and there's no wound. The point is, Dein olav chiyav misa yasa ben chabura. There is no death penalty unless there's actually a wound. The Mishnah has a case specifically here where there's no chiyav misa. Beiloi we say that in Mesechah Sanhedrin, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video. And Daf Pevav Amad Aleph.